I'm working on a BMW ECU and I noticed one big problem this board is fried right here and on the back of the board here it's a big capacitor this issue have a problem with Valvetronic system look at the case so I, I have to take the board out from the case this is the case and to take the board out I unscrewed some screws one two three four five six and it's glued where you can see this gray glue it's a silicone like a thermal paste but it's very hard okay that's a lot of work I'm gonna use my vacuum station okay I took the cover off I took the board out actually and it doesn't look too good we have a fried capacitor here one inductor here and look at the board this is not going to be a fix because the board is multi-layer and all the layers are burned many components ripped off and carbonized so i'm gonna try to back up the data from it because the the engine is still running if you want to believe the engine is it's still running and is running good the valvetronic system isn't working But it runs in emergency mode with the throttle. The rest of the board is looking good. And yes, let's try to back up the data. Okay, the ECU is connected and the flex is reading the data from it. Look at that. As I told you, the engine is still running with this fried issue. But it's running on the intake throttle, not on valve tronic. So we need to find the same part number and then to write uh, the full backup in that new issue so that's it this is a short video and uh, it's a no fix but maybe you learn something it's very hard to remove this board you have to cut the glue from the connector and you need to cut it with tools like this very sharp and flexible and you need to run it just like that from the outside from the outside from the back of the 
the cover and to, to cut this silicone between the cover and this connector very hard to do it but that's it